I know I'm a bit late to this whole situation, but I decided I would just do a video on it because I don't want people to think I'm some kind of fucking pussy. Or because, like, I don't want people to think, oh, <laughs> William's backing out because Dreams have made some really good points in the video. <laughs> Gook. No, that's not it at all. I just, I, I've been busy the past two fucking weeks. Not exactly busy, I wouldn't say, but, like, I have some issues in, like, personally that's been going on with me that I've talked about before on my Instagram page and some other platforms as well so nothing to do with that but here it is even though i'm late about it I, but we're gonna finally address it so yeah dream posted a video discussing all of the allegations and today i'm what i'm basically just gonna do is i'm gonna go through the ones that i think are most important and I, I, i'm not the only one that thinks that the ones that i selected me personally are the ones that are important the main one that i'm not gonna discuss is fucking like I, i'm just gonna get this out of the way right now the main one I'm not going to discuss is the, the gumball versus dream situation, as people called it. I don't like her about it because it's just like, it's just two grown ass men fucking have, having the maturity of high schoolers and, and they just have high school, middle, middle school, high school type, type drama. It, it, it's just, it's not even drama. It, 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 it's fucking childish. It's what it is what, from what I heard. It's going to be skipping over today entirely because I don't care about stuff like that. I really don't. That's why I didn't address it a couple months ago, because it's just fucking child, child, like, fucking, you, you know what I mean. If, if you've been in middle school or high school, or specifically a public one, then, then you, you know what I mean, I hope. I'm honestly really proud of this dude for finally actually manning up and actually having some fucking balls to actually address some shit and not just go on and complain about it in, like, a thread. He did address it in a thread one time, but... No one wants to read all that shit. No, no one wants to read what he posted, and neither do I. Seeing this dude complain about anything or addressing anything out is just, in my personal opinion, is that it, it, it's it's just it's painful to watch because all he does is he just cries in the middle of it. One more thing before I I start getting into this shit is that like I'm, I I already know ninety five percent of people like already know about this whole like like I cannot speak. I already know 95% of people know about this whole thing, but I'm just going to address it anyway because I, I want to make my own version and thoughts of it. But if you, if you haven't seen it already, here you go. You're welcome. Fuck it. We're just going to do it anyway. All right, so the cheating allegations. Three years ago, Dream was caught cheating, and he claims that in, in within this video, he claims that it was a quote-unquote accident. I did unintentionally cheat on a speedrun that I officially submitted to the leaderboards in 2020, and the speedrun mods were completely in the right for taking it down. I was using a disallowed mod for about a week on my live streams when a new version of Minecraft came out, and I was unaware that this mod existed. When I was defending myself, I didn't know that I'd been using the mod, and it's a really complicated and lengthy explanation of how it's very reasonable that I didn't know that I had the mod, so I can't go into that here. A lot of people say that it's impossible that I wouldn't have known that I was so lucky, but those people don't realize that it was a little bit of luck over a very long period of time, and not a lot of luck at once. All right, you know what? I'm gonna make some people really fucking mad here but i'm just gonna say anyways i call bullshit on that bull fucking shit like, i honestly don't believe that at all zero that's like saying a pedophile didn't know he was messaging an underage girl and saying oh no i, I didn't send those messages or something along the lines of that. like it, it, it's like saying that like so i call complete and other bullshit on that that's why i also believe that too is that in in the response video dream completely left out that he made a like a message and released a statement like like a couple months after or it was a couple weeks i don't exactly remember after he got accused of cheating back in 2020 credit to this guy below me by the way i can't pronounce his name or credits to him he did a video covering on, on what Dream exactly said about when he got accused of cheating. But it was something along the lines of Dream was, like, getting so worried. And, like, Dream got so pissed. And he was just so worried. Like, he just got, he was just worrying so much. Like, he was in, he even admitted he was sitting in the fucking bathtub. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Like, who cares? I get baths too. I'm 15. But, like, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm using that as for reference of how worried he actually was of when he got caught cheating. The reason why I don't believe that is because he fucking released a statement, like I just said, saying that how he admit like how he how he actually cheated and, and admitted to it, how he was actually so worried about it that he did it while he was in the fucking bath. 
example. He basically says that when faced with the threat of losing everything he's built over this drama, he got so scared that he was unable to consider whether he had really cheated or not. He decided he didn't and simply went ahead doing everything in his power to defend himself. Meanwhile, the entire time he had been using a disallowed modification that he had installed for the casual games where he was just making content for YouTube, which obviously gave him a huge advantage. I grew more and more frustrated, convinced that I was being targeted due to the fact that I was a YouTuber. I cared more about defending myself than about figuring out what was actually going on, and I shot myself in the foot by doing it. For the record, he did also say that, oh, I left my mods on, which I, like I said, I don't believe that. Like, like, like there's just no way. I honestly don't believe that. I can't exactly put it in the good context because I don't know how to word it. But like, but like the pedophile analogy I just gave, it, it's, it's kind of like a kind kind of like dragging on of what I could put in the context about that. I, I honestly just don't believe him. I honestly just call him complete bullshit by that. If also here's another thing I don't think people discuss enough too. If you're so worried about it, and you know it's false, then. Why are you so worried about it that you're literally doing while you're c c fucking hygiening yourself? Right? Like, you know deep down that it's fake. Why are you even worrying about it that much anyway? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. Like, if you know it's fake, why worry about it that much anyway? Like, if someone made a fake accusation towards me, I would, sure, I would address it, but I wouldn't go fucking full worrying mode. Like, fucking scrubbing my armpits, like, oh, shit, what do I do next? Uh, how do I respond to this? No, I wouldn't do that. I would fucking wait in the morning and then talk about it. I, 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 would, I would sit back, relax, calm myself, and just take a fucking chill pill. And if you're also expecting to, like, go as far as literally paying someone from fucking Harvard to do, like, some math for you and saying and getting results, I was actually 1 in 7.5 trillion. That is more than people on Earth, and, and you're trying to justify that, and you're so worried about it that you're paying somebody. So, if you're so worried about it, I, 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 I like, I, 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 Dream, I don't get you, bro. Like, if you know deep down it's fake, don't fucking worry about it. Like, actually be mature about it and not worry about it so much, like a fucking child worrying about homework. Like, relax, dude. There's not really much else to it. Other than that, like, Dream didn't really go on, like, much about, like, to the fucking cheating allegations. All he really talked about is how he, ac how he accidentally left his mods on. And uh, other than that, that, like, he didn't go in, like, much in detail about how, like, he was defending himself and how he didn't cheat or whatever. He just explained how he accidentally left the mod on, and he, like, he didn't give enough, te like, details to it. That compares to the next one that the entire internet was talking about, just as much as, as everyone was talking about the fucking cheating allegations. This is the grooming allegations. Number two and final one. Because the only two I think that are completely important, all that other bullshit listen to the video... I don't care because he's just yapping about it and so does everyone else think like everyone's thinking I'm the same thing like all the other shit that he was talking about he's just yapping about it it's just like uh, some other shit about face reveals and like fucking uh well, well, well what else was it it was like something about no it, it was a gumball I, I'm an idiot it was a gumball situation those two things I can care less about because those because those things aren't important like I said like I said in the beginning of the video I'm only going to be going through things that are actually important. So this is the second and final one. I'm trying to make this video simple. So yeah, I'm going to shut up and explain it. So the grooming allegations. Oh boy. <laughs> this is a pretty complicated one. I'm going to try and sum this up as much as I possibly can here. And just make it simple as possible. Because of how complex this one actually is. Dream got accused of like sending inappropriate messages to minors. And actually sent a, a fucking audio of him moaning. And at first I believed this. And I believed this for a very long period of time. And I'm actually a complete fucking idiot for believing that. I'm not kidding. I'm actually disappointed in myself for believing that. And I'm, 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 I, I like, I, I look at myself in the, every day in the mirror now, thinking, I, I like, say, saying I'm like an idiot for believing that. I'm honestly, very ashamed of myself for, for actually believing that. Like, that, that's actually absurd that I actually believe that. I didn't do any research on it. I'm just an idiot, so I don't know why I believe that. So I'm, I'm, I'm a complete fucking dingus. We actually had like two encounters, but, but the first one is actually just the most important. The second one wasn't really like a whole big ordeal as the first one. But basically, Dream messaged a girl, like allegedly, like what the fuck ever. 
he messaged a girl, like, like saying, like, just talking to him, but, like, messaging fans at, at first. Like, at first it was, like, a friendly conversation, and then it got quickly sexual and controversial. Controversial. I cannot speak. Controversial. This girl, Jamie, like, like allegedly, during the Gumball vs. Dream allegations, it said, since Dream was already dealing with that, out of fucking nowhere... A guy that was a quote-unquote burner account, which I didn't even know what a burner account even was or what it meant until, well, Dream taught me that, perspectively. I guess Dream taught me something, a new meaning and a new part of slander the internet. Yay. You know what they say, like, oh, you learn something new every day. Well, I guess I did, Sherlock. Sure, cool, awesome. Anyway, so, Jamie was talking to Dream, and, well, allegedly Dream messaged her and started grooming her and, like, moaning into, like, the fucking phone and shit. But that's what I was mentioning from earlier. I I accidentally said it was Amanda, because I thought it was Amanda at first, but it was actually Jamie. But it was the other way around, so it, it's all good from there. It's fine. And Dream responded to this by defending himself, saying that how it was actually not screenshot properly, how the person did not show any proof and etc. I'll just let Dream explain that for you. Well, since it's actually not going to be exactly Dream, I'm going to be completely honest here, it's going to be another guy that's going to explain it to you. Credits, credit to him, by the way. Like, he made the video, like, in response to, like, like removing of all the unnecessary shit that Dream said. Which I gotta say, people say, oh, Dream's response was perfect. No, it wasn't exactly perfect. He kept on getting on tangents throughout the video. Like, he wasn't so straightforward in my personal opinion so i don't know why people say hey his response his response was perfect it, i mean yeah like responding and showing evidence was actually executed perfectly i'm not gonna lie but 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 him just in general going with forward like addressing the allegations fucking he just kept on getting on small tangents so no the response was not perfect i hate when people say that about it it, it wasn't perfect at all. A Twitter user called Burner22 claimed that Dream sexted and received and sent nudes to a 16-year-old girl named Jamie in 2019. Burner22 also attached some screenshots of Discord DMs and a Snapchat of what was supposedly Dream moaning sexually with some explicit captions. The weird Snapchat video. Dream says it's fake and points out the fact that the video opened spontaneously and has missing frames as proof. Claim. Burner22 reported Dream to the Orange County Police Department. Debunk. Dream calls Orange County Police Department, who does not have anything about Dream on file. Dream then contacts Jamie, who says she was never groomed by Dream, and that people need to leave her alone. Alright, so, <laughs> I know, it's a, it's a lot to take in. The first thing I'm gonna point out was the Snapchat thing. Dream is correct about that. Like, there were a couple of frames missing when the dude clicked on, when, when the supposed burner guy running the counter web the fuck ever clicked clicked on his name and a couple of frames were actually missing so either he buffed that out or he used an overlay over something else on top of that it's actually pretty damn easy to tell if you just go back in the video and you, like you just go frame by frame and you, like you like like i mean like you can literally fucking see like like the buffering it, it's it's not hard to notice like literally anyone on planet earth can see that like, like 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 my 82 year old grandmother can see that probably so yeah it's yeah dream is absolutely correct about that i, I did not do any of the i did not do any research on it i'm a complete fucking idiot for actually believing that i, I like i'm like fucking crucify me dude for for believing that and Dream even called, like, like the dude even said that Dream even called that he, like, he fucking called the local police station that Burner22, like, reported him at. They literally said that they literally do not have any files or that, that they're, like, or that Dream is even in the system at the Orange County P Police Department Sheriff's Office. Well, whatever the fuck you want to call it, whatever. That's what I call it. Even though I got that completely wrong, you know what I'm trying to say, so shut the fuck up. But yeah, I, I feel like if you're going as far as to literally prove that calling the police station yourself as the actual predator, and like you like you literally called like the the police station yourself, aka Dream did, and they said no, you're not anywhere in our systems. 
that should legitimately tell you right then and there that everything is just debunked right then and there. Because if they actually did confirm it, like if there was actually an open investigation, then it, it then that would actually question if it could be real or not. It would be like right in the middle between if it was real or not. You know what I'm saying? But that's actually insane that Dream actually called the fucking police station. Like I, I would, I could know. Especially recording it too, like, like probably through... Like, he literally audio recorded it. Like, I couldn't do that. I don't have the fucking nerves to do that. I don't, I don't have the time to do that because I don't care. But yeah, kudos to Dream for actually finally manning up and actually dealing with, like, all this bullshit that he's going through. And not actually going on Twitter and crying about it for once and actually releasing a full ex explanation about it. A lot of people are also pointing this out that this dude is literally going through, quote unquote, every stage and every level of being a content creator. Literally only within the span of four years, which is crazy to think. This dude is pretty new to content creation too. Like, it's been only four years since this dude came on to, like, like this whole ordeal of content creation. And this dude is literally... So fucking new to it. And he's going within all of the stages of it within the past couple of years. <laughs> and and that's crazy to think, too. And, I'm, and I am I didn't think of that. Someone else like someone else in this comment section pointed that out. I didn't think of that myself. I'm just like, wow. That dude's absolutely fucking correct. Like, like, you're going from growing. Then you're going to accusation. To accusation. Going back to normal. Accusation again. Like, that's basically a, a, a whole fucking cycle of, of just of just random bullshit. And in conclusion, I still don't like Dream at the end of the day. And that's not going to change because this dude is still fucking whining and just like, no. I've talked about many times why I don't like him. If you, got, if you guys want, you can go back to this video below me. I explained why I don't like him, I think. And I made some other videos in the past, like on his face reveal, discussing why I still don't like him. And well, still, I mean, I never did like him. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm trying to say. I still don't like him, but I have to give props to him. I have to give him, like, some credit and points for this one and some sympathy for, for him actually finally growing a pair of balls and actually doing what, it, what, 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 like, a real person should do is address, like, some allegations and whatnot. Or just a content, or just being a content creator type way. Not just being a person, but, like, if, like you know what I'm saying, I hope. Other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say. Follow me on Twitter. I tweet a bunch of random stuff over there. It can be actually be about anything. Subscribe to me on here. I do a bunch of random variety content. I'm hoping to do more gaming content this year, so please sub and tune for that. Follow my TikTok and my Instagram. I post like random photos of me sometimes on my Instagram, and then I'll re-upload things from my TikToks on my Instagram. And on my TikTok, what I'll do is that I'll, I'll upload like random bits and skits sometimes. Like, 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 very short skits. That's what I'll do, uh, like, with those things. And I also do upload them in short form here on YouTube also. Join my Discord, it is dead. And just, as a matter of fact, just please follow everything below in the description. And other than that, that's pretty much what I have to say. See ya.